Mimi sefu chinkanga. Hapa ya kwamba when the newly elected members of the Kisumu County Assembly took the oath of office one week ago, 68-year-old Priska Auma was not left behind. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I to move a motion that the done. Priska and West Kisumu Ward Representative Paul Okiri are the only MCS who successfully defended their seats during last month's elections, which saw off 33 of their colleagues. It was difficult, but by God's grace, I captured the seat again. A seasoned politician, Preska is famed for her record as the most elected woman in Kisumu's and maybe in Kenya's civic history. In 1983, I was persuaded by people who admired me and thought I could represent them in the then uh, municipal council. And uh, I was persuaded and I went into politics in 1983 and uh, I was representing Stadium Ward as a councillor. Uh, the office which I hold, uh, I held for about uh, 10 years, uh, 10 consecutive years, I was uh, a representative of Stadium Ward in Kisumu uh, City. She has been elected five times and boasts of having served in three successive governments of former President Daniel Arap Moi, that is between 1983 to 2002, Mwai Kibaki 2002 to 2013, and now Uhuru Kenyatta. In the 1983 and 1987, 1992 terms, Priska served as councillor representing the former stadium ward under Kanu, which was the only party then. I didn't join uh, Ford Kenya, which was famous in this side of the country. And then I missed one term. I did not uh, go in 1997. But Priska's knack for the marquee game saw her bounce back to office in 2002 after she quit Kanu to join Liberal Democratic Party in 1999. Two years after she recaptured her seat, she was elected unopposed as the Kisumu mayor, becoming the second woman after Grace Onyango to hold that position. We now left uh, NAC and then we formed uh, the ODM Kenya, which is now a big movement in Western Kenya. And then I went to ODM. In ODM, I was elected again in Stadium Ward. Then there came the big journey for devolution. And the three, my, the three wards were merged, that is Kaloleni, uh, Kibuye Ward, and uh, Stadium Ward. So it is now called uh, Kaloleni Saurumoe Ward with those three former wards of the default uh, council. Then I managed to capture the seat. I was in the first assembly where I served in various committees. Priska says that her call is not to serve in the national arena but down here at the grassroots. I believe I'm not very far from uh, digital people, because even those who call themselves dot-coms, they have failed. The dot-com government is failing Kenyans. But me, I never failed, and even I can, I can catch up with those people in the Facebook, those people who are in the WhatsApp. Isn't that uh, digital enough? Kaloleni Shaurimoyo Ward, which she represents in the current assembly, plays host to one of Kisumu's controversial and greatest eyesores, the dump site. We came up with a, a project called Takani Pesa, which was being funded by the UN Habitant. And people had known that Takani Pesa, and they started understanding how to manage the environment. Apparently, during that regime when devolution came, all these projects, they went under the drainage. A widow and a mother of four, Priska attended Linnea Primary School in Uyoma before proceeding to Ngara Girls in Nairobi for her secondary education. Okokusa, NTV.